when you look at the change of what God has done for Hudson River, and when you see the joy, when you see the anointing, God did it. No one's trying to take no credit from the Lord. Only God can change things. Do I have a witness? Only God can make a way. Only God can pick Hudson River up and turn it around. And we've been a witness all week of what God can do if we let God have his way. We can't go by the program every night. It's a new season every day. We can choose the path of which way we want to go, but only God can order our steps. So as God orders the steps of Hudson River, we got to get in line and follow the steps. We receive some new things through the ship. We receive the tax exempt status. We received an association logo. We received a new CLS president. We received two editions of the newsletter. We received a new website. We received some new things. We received a media ministry. We completed the Constitution. But that's not all God wants Hudson River to be. We have some unfinished business. or tax exempt if one of our churches is falling down or don't have no heat no the What good if one of our pastors is ill? We got some unfinished business. What good is having a newsletter or a website if we can't help a church without a pastor? We got some unfinished business. Hudson River must take a personal commitment to be strong for each other and to take care of all the churches. Somebody say all the churches. That means from A to Z. That means from those who are here tonight and those who have something else to do. If they're in Hudson River, they're still in our camp. In our text tonight, Paul tells us, if you're going to run the race of faith, running to secure the crown. Yeah. If we're going to be in this thing, if we're going to come out Sunday after Sunday, if we're going to come and pray, read the scriptures and listen to his word, we might as well run to win the race. As we move forward, away from where we were, the scripture says, I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do, Hudson River was going to be here 2011. And he knew some folks was going to have a problem with forgetting. Sometimes we can do 10 things that might be good, but God may want us to just to do one thing that's great. So I'm wondering if you know some folks who like ham hocks and collard greens, fried chicken and butter beans, filled peas and candy yams, macaroni and cheese and smothered pork chops, mashed potatoes and gravy and barbecue pizza, turnip greens and rice, mashed potatoes potato salad and cornbread. You know some of them folks who like that? Well, it's those folks who have a problem forgetting. It is them folks who got a problem with the text because they can't forget. And there's some folks who might find it difficult to forget. They're one thing. There's a problem with some folks forgetting. And I want them to know for us to move forward, they have to let go of what happened in the past. They, they, they gotta let go who did it and why. 
I want somebody to know that night, uh, you can't stand in the doorway of the past and walk into the doorway of the future at the same time. You gotta shift. The Bible tells me that you can't put new wine into old wine skins. It just won't work. You got to cut the head off and distract it from your commitment. And once you cut the head off, it's dead. Anytime you move the head off, it's going to die. And anything that is dead needs to be back. Do I have a witness here? If it's dead, it's got to go. If it's dead, it's got to be back. So tonight, Jesus, we got some unfinished business. 